Good evening and servus from snowy, beautiful Vienna. Today we talk about Bitcoin and I will show you plenty of very dubious price predictions. Let's talk about how they can become true, if they will happen or not. And last but not least, if you stay until the end of this video, I will show you one particular reason why it still could happen. So looking at the crypto market as a whole, we see that Bitcoin and basically all the other coins are mostly stagnant, moving sideways. And this is in the end, usually this is a time where you need to be very, very uh, cautious about what you do. We could see a big move to the upside coming like a next one or we could see this correction that many are awaiting. Um, yeah, overall, we can say that uh, Bitcoin is um, at a certain line here. Let's see what we get. So looking at the Bitcoin chart briefly, you see Bitcoin is sitting right at this resistance line. We don't know if we break it this time. Uh, we could also correct down all the way to the like 18k area i think and that's my personal opinion we have really seen this bear market slow uh it's very very hard to really say that because what we know from last year a lot of things can happen what if genesis is uh, going bankrupt uh, all the crypto of uh, grayscale has to be sold uh, all these Bitcoins uh, come to the market and uh, they need to find buyers. If they're not uh, bought that bought up that easily, uh, we will see a move to the downside and a correction. But I think that we have seen this low. Uh, we have a very, very high RSI here, as you see from the, uh, from the daily still. Um, it could potentially yeah stay here in this area i believe it will come down a bit but nothing is guaranteed and it's very hard to say at the moment because this um this market going sideways and not so much volume usually means that bitcoin is searching for direction from some other area from the stock markets or from um, the general economy and external factors that come into play. So for uh, the short term trend. But uh, what we want to do in this video, we want to talk about the long term trend, actually. And I promised on Twitter that I will create a longer video or like a more deeper video about uh, why I believe Bitcoin will reach a certain value. And it's around $650,000 uh, that I believe we will reach during the next years. If you know what I mean, you can comment down below and tell me if you have the same uh, goal for Bitcoin during the next years or if you believe it will go higher or stay much lower. Uh, let me know what you believe. But now go to these dubious uh, <laughs> predictions that we see on Twitter. And on Twitter, if you search bull run begins, you go to top and you will find a lot of dubious predictions, for example, by T analyst. Um, yeah, you see this here. Uh, shout out to him. I don't know exactly what time that should be if we have 23 here, 24, 25, 26. Okay, so his timeline is going like to 28 or something where he believes it will reach a million. Uh, that's definitely a better timeline than I saw before. I saw um, other bull run begins posts. Uh, yeah, here he talks about 250K, so mid of 25 well so if you post uh, two pictures like this that are completely contradicting each other then you have two chances to be right in the end uh, betting for up and down at the same time basically could also be an option uh, or betting for a lot of different values here you see bull run begins yeah somewhere between 500 and 1 million 
Uh, we also see this will be around 2026. 20, but there are better ones. There are better ones. Uh, I think this is the same that we saw already, uh, but very early goes to 1 million very early. Okay, now we get only him. Why is that? I was checking that a bit earlier. And we actually got a lot of different guys posting similar things. Um, okay, the bull run begins. The bull run begins. Yeah, here we have 200k. So uh, here's him again. We really don't know uh, which chart we should follow. Crypto Pablo, Crypto Pablo says it's 300,000 at yeah, mid of 25. So going a lot of different uh, ways here. Everything goes up and up and up. But this is, as I said, at best dubious to predict uh, charts in this way. Here we have Craig Pears Coco. Craig Percoco uh, doing the big, big head and shoulders. <laughs> you see uh, head and shoulders going over many, many years. As soon as we break above here, we will go uh, to the moon basically. But keep in mind that uh, this looks nice, but in the end uh, we are sitting here. So it's a far, far way to get here. And if we really have these difficulties coming through, we could see a head and shoulders like this. But what we see here is like the Corona crash that we saw um, in 2020. And to be very honest, this crash wouldn't have happened that way without external factors. So it must be a similar timeline again that some black swan event is kind of causing a crash like this. Um, we could definitely see a very, very strong resistance at this level. Um, that's usual that at the all time high, we must push through. But we also know from history that Bitcoin did not really give a fuck about these all time highs and just pushed up usually. Um, so yeah, just saw this prediction is actually from the same guy as before. Um, then I saw this one here. This one is also a nice one. Uh, somebody creating these correction lines here uh, calls for, I don't know how they draw the line here, but really um, putting, was this was already a correction according to this chart, uh, drawing these lines and saying in between, uh, it goes up and up and up. And then we reach 800K by... 25 26 probably around that i mean that could happen right it's a long time uh but it won't happen this way uh bull run bull run bull run uh and it's from the same guy again actually so uh i get i guess i need to shout out to you uh maybe you want to uh talk in a video about uh how you do these predictions or why you believe uh these are the cases and uh Last but not least, maybe uh, why there are so many different scenarios and, and what you're basing them on uh, would be very curious uh, to know more about this. Um, otherwise, we have, yeah, bull. It's actually all by this guy and uh, so many different scenarios. I want to say to this that it's definitely possible that we go uh, to the upside again after uh, we reach the top. But I predict a very choppy, choppy year because we have many question marks coming up that are different to uh, former times. We have a potential recession in many countries. We still don't know uh, how inflation will work out. Uh, inflation is coming down at the moment, uh, but uh, Bitcoin hasn't really seen economically unstable times like uh, we are going into right now. So very, very curious to see, uh, very excited to see how this will play out in reality. But uh, this scenario is very, very um, yeah, unlikely to happen this way. But I am also a bull, I believe, 
Bitcoin is going up. Uh, this is why I've invested. And before I say goodbye for today, I show you one sign why I am also very, very bullish on Bitcoin. And we have one fact that stands out probably for everyone. And this is, you see it here. If you like this kind of content, make sure you don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates. Here. And now you see it here. Jim Cramer warns investors to stay away from crypto and stick to gold. Uh, and this is a hint to why I believe a certain value for Bitcoin is more than realistic. And it also says that, well, Jim Cramer tells you don't do it. That's the probably best indicator of saying we are bullish as never before. This being said, I wish you a wonderful evening and um, tune in again for my next video, publishing it soon, uh, doing my best to create more videos right now. I'm actually working here on the tech I'm trying to get my studio set up so I can just create video, video, video after video. Uh, that wasn't possible so far. So um, when videos are getting simple, I can just start connecting with you guys. Uh, this being said, uh, wish you a wonderful evening and see you soon.